made. I, I would send it back to the Public Safety Committee and say, look, you can't cite a statute and then put your interpretation of what the statute means I in like your motion it. and then do it that way. If you I want to come with a nice, simple little motion, and I'm not, and again, I'm getting tired of these motions that say, we hereby resolve the police department shall enforce the law. <laughs> why, why, why are we casting such a thing? Yeah, why are we wasting our time on that? So is that a motion that we send back? I motion back to the Public Safety Committee because I don't think it's a motion. And do you want direction to them, Public Safety? Yes. What is it, should it say? That if they want to make a motion, to make a motion, they can reference the statute if they wish, but they can't interpret the statute. That's a legal decision. And that's not our purview to give a legal opinion of what the statute says or doesn't say. Furthermore, there's nothing in this motion to indicate anything that, in fact, is not being enforced. So I'm just at a loss what this is all about, other than somebody's trying to make a public display of something. Is that a committee? It was a committee. Public Safety Committee. Did they vote it on? So I second that, that we send it back to them. All right. Is there any board discussion? Any public comment? Yes. Jim. It seems like they should just be able to simplify it in their committee. That's really complicated. Yeah, but if they have the Brown Act, the committee meeting, et cetera, et cetera, it's not going to be in time for our meeting. No. It's too late for this meeting. It's too late for this meeting. Yeah, I'm not saying you can't forever. I'm just saying no. No, it'll be a delay. Okay, Ivan. All right. Just so you can know very briefly what's happening here. We saw this meeting. I saw this on the agenda for the Public Safety Committee. I wrote basically a letter like this to them, asking them to remove this stuff, and they got outvoted. There was a lawyer there and was arguing, no, this is it, and I wasn't there. And so they ended up passing it like this and sending it on. And we can't change it because it's a committee motion. Right. So your only options are to send it back or to reject it. I mean, you could do that. But the stuff that I wrote here is not taking sides with any of this. It's just a technical analysis that what they're doing is extending the wording of the motion into an interpretation. And if the board passes this, then they've passed the policy that they support this interpretation, whatever it is. Well, you've already decided we're not going to do that. No, I know. But I'm just telling you why it's important that that happens. Okay. Okay. Yes. The language on the motion that we are making right now is referred back to the Public Safety Committee for clear language without legal interpretation. Volta? Or Christine? Oh, don't say that again. Oh, my God. She can never live it down. I'm a secretary. You can call me sir. That's okay. It's okay. Mike had to live with Sweetie for two years. Oh, my new house is called Sweetie. Chris, are you officially the secretary? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. See you later. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. So, okay, I think that's a good decision. And it's interesting. I heard, I wasn't at the meeting either, but I heard that the police were there saying, but we do enforce these motions. So the whole thing was kind of weird. This was deliberately put in here for that reason. Because if you take this wording out, all it says is the police shall support, you know, shall enforce these ordinances. Why didn't they just do it? It's got a hidden agenda. Yeah, right. Okay, we knew that. Okay, so the sending back to the public. You have to take a vote. Okay, oh, yeah. All those in favor of sending it back to public safety with the language. Okay. Anybody opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. Thank you.